Welcome back everybody. In today's video, we have a frauditor that was auditing a Popeyes. You know, you have to make sure those tyrants are keeping the chicken crispy. And then she gets confronted by one of the managers. You know, I really love Popeyes. The chicken is so awesome. And it really frustrates me that there is a clown that is harassing its employees just to make money on YouTube. But anyways, that being said, enjoy the video. Hello and welcome to this installment of First Amendment Rights. Tonight I'm coming to you from Fullerton, California. At the Boulevard in Bradford. I'll be doing a First Amendment audit outside Popeye's Chicken, Louisiana Kitchen. See if my rights record from the sidewalk will be respected this evening. Stay tuned and we'll see how things turn out. Around the side of the building, let's check out the menu board if we can. Let's see what we got there. Family meals, alright, combo meals. You know the frauditor had actually a chance here to disseminate useful information to the public in the form of the Popeye's menu, but she just zoomed in on it for half a second and then zoomed out. You need to tell people about the bona fide chicken and what kind of sides is available with their order. You know, you had one job and you failed. I'm back around the front of the restaurant here. We got the drive through and taking notice of uh cameras right here mounted on the top corner there. Take a peek inside the kitchen here, see what we got going on. like uh, somebody alerted the kitchen that I'm recording out here. We'll see if someone from the restaurant wants to make contact. So that's basically the strategy. You creep out the customers until the manager comes out and gives you a reaction. You gotta love California because California is filled with creeps like this. Oh man, what a wonderful place to be. But all joking aside, I would love to visit California. It does look really beautiful, but it's all the frauditors, man. They're spreading everywhere. And it's not like the usual frauditors that go and audit the governments or the police. These guys are just there to harass regular citizens. And I'll tell you why this has nothing to do with First Amendment rights. is because the only people that are able to violate your First Amendment rights is the government. That's it. You are not able to sue a civilian for violating your First Amendment rights. That doesn't exist. The Constitution was made to keep the government in check not the citizens. I can't hear you over here. Can you not film is what I'm asking. I, I can't hear you. Oh. It looks like she's coming out. A permit for what? To be able to record. Do you have no a one, do you have a permit to no, record? You can't I will call the police. You can't why are you recording? You're recording up there? Well but we're business. You're not. Doesn't matter. It does. How? Because you're making my customers uncomfortable and my past. Well you're making me uncomfortable getting that close okay, to me. Just... Yeah, you call who you want, ma'am. <laughs> Tell them I said hi. <laughs> so she's on her phone now in the back and I'm getting a cam back from inside the restaurant there. Wave into her camera. There we go. So these types of videos never get anywhere. They never have a good ending. The frauditor always feels like they have a victory because they embarrassed regular people and the cops left them alone. But at the end of the day, you have to ask yourself, little frauditor, 
is that why are you doing this? So put the money aside. You're just being an asshole. This lady is trying to work an honest job that you can't have. And here you are harassing her. Shame on you. Is this really what you were put on this earth to do? That your entire purpose is to harass people that work at Popeyes? I mean, come on, do better. You're weird. You're recording me? There's a camera up there too. So we'll see if uh, Fullerton police wants to show up here. We'll see if uh, they get an education over the phone about public photography or if police want to actually show up. Oh, there's a cam back. So that's pretty funny that the uh, representative from Popeye's Chicken thinks that they have a special privilege to record and I don't merely because they're a business and I'm not. And we have what's called equal rights in America. Looks like their pedestrian railway got uh, knocked over here. All right, here's a 360 on the uh, corner where I'm at right now. A lot of evening traffic. Ah, the good old Chase Bank. How much you want to bet that after doing this video, she walked right over there and did the exact same thing, just to piss off people. Maybe they were educated over the phone, but we'll see. I'll play the waiting game for a little while, see if police want to roll by. Educated in person, maybe. It looks like the Uber Eats guy taking a delivery here. There we go. Breaking news, everybody. Breaking news, exclusive footage from First Amendment rights extremely fantastic journalists. Uber Eats actually delivers food from Popeyes to the customers. This is mind blowing. I could never imagine that something like this would exist. Oh, looks like she's coming back out. Oh, getting the cam back there. Yeah, getting the cam back under her hoodie. Hi. Peace. Thumbs up. Uh, did you get educated over the phone by the police? Are they still coming or no? Nah? They probably educated you over the phone about public photography, right? So we got a hoodie cam back there. <laughs> This is uh, like one of the employees from uh, Popeye's Chicken here. Came back out with her uh, hood put over her head. At least she's creating her own privacy. There you go. Maybe I'm being live streamed, who knows? Free publicity for me. <laughs> Do you like some free literature about public photography to educate yourself a little further? Yeah, I talked about this piece of paper that they hand out. And this is not official literature whatsoever. It was actually written by a frauditor. Multiple times in there, it says that you're allowed to record kids and you should be recording kids. Most likely, it was actually written by a diddler. No? All right, it's free. It's right here if you want it. You're welcome to come and get it. Yeah, I'm going to take a guess that Fullerton PD uh, gave her a hard, a hard lesson over the phone about uh, public photography on a public sidewalk. So now she's returning the favor. And that's perfectly fine because you're within your right to do that, see? It's all good. 
And now she's retreating inside. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Sitting in the window. Oh, I see you there. <laughs> ah, there you are. Must not be too busy for her to be able to sit and give a cam back like that. <laughs> So it's been about 10 minutes since uh, our friend inside there came out and confronted and uh, got on her phone and then she came out and gave me a little cam back there herself. Just to satisfy my own curiosity, I'm going to head around the other side just to make sure that uh, Fullerton PD didn't uh, pull around the back side of the building here. So that's pretty much all that happened. And this was actually a very eventful clip for First Amendment rights because usually it's dead air. But today there was a little bit of a confrontation. Now, I can't even imagine how the discussion goes around Thanksgiving dinner. Like, hey, wh what do you do for a living? Oh, me? What I do is I harass Popeye's employees and their customer. And I get paid by YouTube. Fantastic job, right? What a clown. Anyways, that's it for today. Thanks for watching, everybody. Please like and subscribe. It really helps the channel, and we'll see you on the next video. By the way, if you haven't already, please take a look at my other channel, Josh Prime, where I cover a bunch of hilarious random situations. The link will be in the description. I live here!